Hey, welcome back to our lecture video. So let's review the branches of physics. We say we have the classical and the modern physics, but we will focus mainly on the classical one. So we say we have the mechanics, the heat and thermodynamics, the electricity and magnetism, and of course the wave and waves and optics. Okay. So here in mechanics, the um, we say that this is the uh, all about the forces in the response of the object when you apply that force then it can be further be divided into the mechanics of solids and the fluids so we have solids and fluids so this is the what we call the solid mechanics and the other one is what we call the fluid mechanics So these are what we call the solid mechanics here uh, in your course, specifically in uh, engineering, here in course in engineering, we typically uh, uh, name these solid mechanics as uh, engineering mechanics. While when you are dealing with this fluid, we say that this is the fluid mechanics. So later on, especially on the uh, Bisabin program, uh, we have different subjects here after your uh, physics for engineers or physics 106 uh, on your uh, second year probably here uh, there is a um, uh, separate subject for engineering mechanics you have the engineering mechanics one which is all about the statics or the uh, engineering mechanics one statics and then you have the dynamics or engineering mechanics too and then we have the what we call the um, strength of materials we have the strength of materials which is also a separate subject on your uh, probably second or third year standing when you are on your second year or third year as well as this one, the fluid mechanics. So here in uh, this course, the mechanics, um, we will also uh, discuss mainly uh, uh, basics regarding this topic. So later on, we will discuss it one by one. Okay. So, but uh, but uh, this uh, solid mechanics here is about the response of forces like what i've said this mechanics is about the forces and the response of the object so what is the uh, response of the force when you applied it in solids so it can be um, studied under the statics or static response means that um, the summation of forces there is zero meaning they are either in place or in continuous motion while here in uh, dynamics, uh, uh, you will uh, or we will discuss discussing here maybe about the velocity, the acceleration, and so on. So the, this is the what we call the dynamic response of the forces applied on an object, on solid object. So these two here, the statics and dynamics, this is the what we call. Okay, this is the what we call rigid bodies. Okay. So we treat the object here under the statics and dynamics as rigid or um, rigid meanings uh, that we do not consider the deformation here. While here in the strength of materials, we call here as the uh, deformable, deformable, deformable bodies. Since here in strength of materials, when we applied a certain force here, and we consider the deformation or the effect of that force that might uh, deform the object, we uh, we uh, say this that the um, study of the mechanics is about the deformable bodies or the strength of materials. Also, for the heat and thermodynamics. We will uh, subdivide it uh, in three categories. We have 
sheet. Where's the thermodynamics? And the heat transfer. So I will not discuss it further because we will discuss it one by one on our next video. Okay. So for now, let us now proceed to our uh, next uh, next what you call this next topic, which is about the units of measurement. So we have the units oops, of we have the units of measurement. Okay. So here we are. Uh, usually use uh, this measurement that's why this is a very important topic these measurements are used to uh, quantify different uh, physical quantities like we have the length the time mass and so on so and these measurements are based on specific standards we have um, two systems or basic uh, systems of units that is uh, recognized that are uh, that are recognized we have the what we call the SI unit SI units and the IP or English units I know uh, you are very familiar with this one, but as a review, let us try to um, practice uh, conversion or depamilarize on different measurements, units, dimensions, and so on. So on the next video, uh, let us try to convert some units from one system to different, uh, from one to to other system okay from SI to English or from English to SI or for or between English to English and between SI to SI so so see you on the next video